So today, this Karen calls the cops on a little boy, all right? And this little boy isn't just any little boy. This little boy is homeless. Why does the Karen do that? I don't know. She's a Karen, okay? All Karens are just mean. <laughs> but anyways, let's just find out what happens. Oh. Aww. He doesn't come up to our car. Wow. Yep, I already know who the Karen is. town is going downhill. That is why they need to elect me as mayor. Oh, heck no. I am not electing her as mayor. If she's getting little boys in jail, do not vote for her. So I can clean this place up. Clean this place up? Why does she say clean this place up? Does she think he's trash? Yeah, I don't like this girl. Oh, he's knocking on the door. Aw. What do you want? Oh my Sorry gosh, she's so ma mean. My name's Oliver. Aw. What's up, Oliver? And I'm trying to sell water bottles so I can buy some food for my sick mom and I. Give him some money. Come on. Buy one? $3 a bottle. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Three dollars a bottle is expensive, but for Oliver, I got you, Oliver. All right, we love Oliver. First of all, how do we know that your mom is really sick? Wow. You're probably just taking um, advantage of hardworking people like us. And second of all, what? Why would we want to buy overpriced water from a scammer? Oh my no, gosh! You. She just roasted the heck out of him. She is ruthless. Yeah, I am definitely not voting for her. I can't help but feel a little bad. At least the daughter I mean, has really a good brain. Help? Yeah, for help real, right? Taking money out of our pocket and putting it into him. Really needs help. Help taking money out of our pocket and putting it into his. Come on. Seriously, Don't Harvey, be a Karen. I can spot a scammer a mile away. Trust me. His mom probably put him up to it. Wow. So she can cash in. You know what? I read an article. It talked about a fake beggar actually made over a hundred thousand in a year. Oh my That's gosh! More than what I make. That doesn't mean he's a scammer. I mean, what if he was really trying to get something to eat? Exactly. I'm just saying, you never really know what someone's going through. That is so true. You should always be kind. Okay, the daughter okay. is smarter than the Karen. Have a great time at Hot Yoga. Okay, please be careful though, honey. You know how dizzy you get. I'll be back in an hour after my press conference. Here we go. I love you. Love you. Have a good time. All right, let's see what happens. Why does she get him in jail? Okay, her car broke down. See, that's instant karma, all right? Oh, God. That's what you get for being mean to the boy. Hi, yeah. I need a tow truck. Oh, there's the boy right there. I'm at the corner of, um... Oh, what's he doing? Hang on a second. Hey, get away from my car. What do you think you're doing? Wait, what? I'm just trying to help. Aww. No, you're probably trying to steal the catalytic converter. What? <laughs> what even is a catalytic converter? And why would he know what that is? I don't even know what that is. I'm not. Look, I'm <laughs> lost before I call the cops. Oh my gosh. She is so... Sorry about Such that. a Karen. Yeah, Can she's a Karen. The is? Yeah, I was driving and then all of a sudden it started smoking. Oh, it stopped smoking um, now. Okay, hang, hang on a second. No problem. Wait. Oh, he fixed the little boy fixed the car. Oh. All right. So the kid is smart. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm so sorry. It's a false alarm. No problem. Give us a call back if you have any further issues. Okay, I will. Thank you. Dang. Okay. Ah, see. Come on, she needs to apologize to him. I'm not gonna lie. She needs to go say exhale. sorry. We're gonna hold this pose for 20 seconds. All right, so they're doing yoga. Your left hip is pointing toward the floor. Carly, are you doing okay? Do you maybe need to get some air? Oh, uh, no, I, I'm okay. I can finish. Thank you. Okay. What's All wrong right, with her? Here, we're gonna transition into Warrior Three. Okay. Oh, there she is. Ladies and gentlemen, our city is facing a crisis. Okay, what's the a crisis? crisis? Of homelessness and rampant criminal activity. All right. And who is responsible for that? Our current mayor. Okay. Who has failed to address these issues. All right, and has nice. Left our town in ruins. 
Just earlier today, I was driving through our streets. Uh oh, what's she about to say? And a homeless boy approached me and pretended to be selling water bottles to help him and his sick mom. Wow, now she's lying to the people. He's actually homeless. Where's his sick mom though? We haven't seen his sick mom yet. It was all a ruse. He then attempted to rob me. What? Taking advantage of the compassion that we hold for those less fortunate. Oh my gosh, when did this boy try to rob you? She is a straight up liar. If elected as your mayor. She's just going to keep lying to you guys. Immediate action to banish homeless people like that boy. People like that deserve to be in jail. What? A seven-year-old needs to be in jail? Oh my gosh. She is such a Karen. She's the we biggest Karen ever. We need to restore safety to our streets. Protect our community. All right. What's and going on with her no daughter? What's wrong with her? Exploit our generosity. Is she all right? Oh my goodness. Oh, I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. The little boy is going to save her. I know it. I know it. I predicted Mommy. it. Look. Oh my gosh. Is punishment really the best approach? Shouldn't we seek to help the homeless, especially kids? That is true. Help the homeless. Yes. Absolutely not. We cannot <laughs> what? allow our sympathy to blind us from the realities of the situation. And the what? The realities of the situation are that homeless people are criminals and drug what? addicts. What? Bro. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, she's a Karen. I don't even know what else to say. I'm sorry. I need to take this. It's an emergency. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, 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 no further questions. <gasps> See, the little boy's helping her. Oh. I have 911 on the phone. Oh, Mom, stop. Hi, this is Betty Thompson. Yes, I need you to send a unit over to Grand and Piner, please. As soon as possible. Somebody is robbing my daughter. Mom. What? <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry for laughing. This is kind of funny at the same time. Like, how is she getting robbed by a seven-year-old? How is that even possible? Why would you do that? Stay out of this, Carly. Stop stealing my daughter's purse. I'm not stealing anything. Oh, sure Aww. you are. Mom, be quiet, Carly. How could you take advantage of someone with a medical condition? He wasn't taking advantage of me. He was helping me. I asked him to yeah. look my bag to see if I had a granola bar or anything. You dumb mom. I'm sorry, honey. I... I just, when I saw him going through it, I... Yeah, well, if it wasn't for Oliver, I, I don't know what I would do. He found me lying here on the floor and gave me water. W, w Oliver. W. Yes. yes. Good job, Oliver. Ma'am? Oh, um, I'm sorry, officer. This was my fault. It was a false alarm. Are you sure, ma'am? Yeah. Dang. Earlier, when your car broke down... I was just pouring water in it to help you. Aww. So that's why it stopped smoking. Yes. I am so sorry, sweetie. So what you were saying was the truth. You really do need food and your mother really is sick. Duh. Why would he lie? And you used your last two bottles of water to help us. Yep. Oliver. Can you do me a favor? Wait, oh, that's his mom. Hey, baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oliver, did you cause some trouble? Oh, not at all, ma'am. Hello, I'm Betty, and this is my daughter, Carly. Okay, are they gonna help him now? <laughs> oh, dear. Are you okay? Um, Oliver, go get me some water. Sorry, mom. I have no more water. Aww. What did you say at all? Uh, I don't understand. Dang. What'd you do with it? I am so sorry. Oliver gave us his last two bottles of water to help my daughter and I. He's been such a blessing. Okay. In that case, good job, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm proud Go of on, you. give him some money. Why don't you take this to the convenience store and get water and food for them? Yeah, no, of course. Oliver, come on, let's go. Aww. That's so kind of you. Please, it's the least I could do. If you only knew everything that Oliver has done for us today. And you tried to put him in jail, Karen. Ma'am, if you don't mind me asking, 
You and your son are such lovely people. Okay. How did you get into this situation? What happened? The same way a lot of us do. By finding ourselves in unexpected situations. Okay. You see? What happened? Not too long ago, Aww. Oliver and I were living a great life. We didn't have much, but we had everything we needed. But, boy. Oh, no. Did things take a turn? She got sick, and One then she night, probably had to go to the hospital. This cough hit me like a ton of bricks. And I couldn't catch my breath. And fear gripped me. I knew life was about to flip upside down. No. I ended up in the hospital. And I heard the two most horrifying words ever said to me. What is it? Lung cancer. <gasps> no. Couldn't believe it. Dang. And to make things even worse was the price tag that came along with oh it. Oh my gosh, 28 grand? That's crazy. Hospital bills do be expensive though. Very expensive. The government ended up denying my request for financial help. Wow. And since I was sick all the time, my job ended up firing me. Literally, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Dang. This is sad, man. And if that wasn't all bad enough, they got kicked out of their apartment. I then got a letter from my landlord. An eviction notice. Dang. You're hereby required to evacuate. Dang, I feel bad for Oliver. He's just a kid, man. You know, he doesn't know what's going on. And that's how we ended up on the streets. Dang. So you see, my life turned upside down just like that. I am so sorry, Tabitha. <sighs> I just can't imagine what you've been going through. And the government hasn't tried to help you. Unfortunately, nope. Not. And you know what's crazy? During Karen's speech, she was saying they don't need to help the homeless. Remember? When you're homeless, they just see, see you as a criminal. criminal yep, or, I knew it. Or a druggie. That's what she. That's what she does. That's, what she does. Like me. that's all going to change. I see that. Okay. Hey, let's go. They got some food. Thank you. Nice. You don't know how much this means to us. Hey, Oliver, when was the last time you got cleaned up? I don't know. <laughs> how would you like it if you and your mom came over to our house? <gasps> yeah. Oh, no. W, okay. No, okay. no I insist. Oh, but I have to make one stop first. Wait, where's she going? <laughs> Oh. I need to address some of the comments that I made earlier. Oh, she's going to change it because, now. Well, All right, nice. I've had a change of heart. Aw. A big change of heart. Finally. All right, see, good job. I looked at homeless people like they were the problem. I judged them before ever hearing their stories. Okay, nice. We're getting somewhere and now. Something happened to me today that changed everything. The boy that I described that was selling water on the streets... And I assumed he was trying to scam me. And no, he was just trying to he help. Wasn't a scammer. That is it. But a hero. Aww. Oliver gave his last two bottles of water to help my daughter and I. Water that should have been used for his mother, who is very, very ill. He gave to my family Aww. instead. Someone that has hardly anything. Give Oliver a million dollars. Everything. And it opened my eyes to realizing something that my daughter has been trying to tell me all along. That you never...
never really know what someone is going through. Exactly. You never do. So we should always be kind. Bada bing, bada boom. Always be kind.